everyone, my name is Maddie Lynn and welcome back to Don't Start. This is episode two. Funny story. I had episode two recorded, but my microphone was on mute. And I even wondered, hey, is the microphone on mute? No, blinking lights are good things. It was on mute. So, you see this cute little red? Yeah, that means the audio's on. Duh. So there went a good 20 minutes of my life I'm never going to get back. Um, in the last attempt, I found spiders, beefalo, thank goodness, and the pig guards, which are evil and will attack you if you get too near. So, oh well, I'm just going to continue where I left off five minutes ago. Let's try this again, shall we? La, 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 la. Okay, so yeah, I found cute little bee blue. I followed this nice path and it led me right to them. The game audio is way too loud. I also made a permanent camp. Or started one. I also built a backpack. Finally made a hat of flowers. So my sanity is a good point right now. I don't... Oh, nope, nope. I thought I was wearing the miner's hat. I was about to feel really bad for wasting my fuels. <sighs> so, brief reminder, beefalo are good because they will help defend you against predators, like hounds, which will come on, like, day 7, or 8, or 10, and something like that. And they'll attack the crap out of you, and it's painful, and it's no bueno. Uh, I picked up manure from the beefalo. They're one of a couple animals you can get manure from. The other ones are pigs, but you have to feed them. Or follow them after they've picked up food from the ground. Gross. But it's used for farming and making great fires. So instead of putting in like five pieces of wood, you now put in one piece of poop. Yay! I'm just going to bait that. I'm highly impatient at the moment. Go in there! <sighs> uh, beefalo are good to be around for protection, but you do have to be careful. Because sometimes their butts turn pink. Ooh. Oh, I'm so sorry it wasn't me! I was just talking about your butt. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean for lightning to strike down and catch you on fire. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. My. Oh crap. This is real swampland. Not the little swampland pieces we were at before. Um. I did make a comment in the last attempt at the video saying that lightning can strike you and you'll catch on fire. I didn't think it would happen so soon. Oh, a big guy. Hey, pig. Pig. Pig, pig, pig. Here. Take this. Take this carrot. I'm just gonna take that. Oh, his name is Justinian. How quaint. Yeah, they kind of creep me out too, Wilson. It's okay. You're not the only one. Um, I did build a shovel so I could be a horrible human being. Oh, look, a gnome! I love gnomes. They're so cute. Oh, he ain't go for the carrot. Stupid rabbit. I swear. Um, it's raining. If you haven't noticed, that is a bad thing. In case that lightning comes back. Won't catch me on fire. Or the beefalo, hopefully. Um, if you get too soaked, a little rain meter will show up under all of your other little meter things up in the top corner. And not only will you be wet, but everything in your bag will be wet. And I think it can actually cause some health damage from being too cold. So that's a bad thing. Okay. I made some charcoal because I lit a whole forest on fire. I lit one tree and they all caught on fire. You, you see this, this nice little, this nice little forest here? Yeah, I burned all of that. Um, but it gave me charcoal and I will use that to make a crock pot once I gain the right ingredients for that. So I'm going to need some cut stone 
I thought I made one of those. Um, thank goodness I have so many freaking rocks. I did make some of those. Where did they go? Oh, maybe it fell out because the beefalo and the fire. I'm gonna check up on that. Yo, beefalo, did you see my cut stone? What? What'd you say? I'm gonna cut you? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I attempted something that came unnatural to me and I regret it. Um, pick us some more poop. Yeah. Sorry, my boss is texting me. I got one of them watches. Um, made some cut stone. Now I'm gonna make a crock pot. And with that crock pot, the fun thing, if you put all vegetables into a crock pot, you make ratatouille. It doesn't matter what kind of vegetable, any vegetable, makes ratatouille. And that'll be done shortly. So as I said in the last video that you don't get to see, I need to stop mentioning that, I'm sorry. Um, crock pots are used for cooking. Duh. But with crock pots, they will let you make things and dishes that are actually super beneficial. I need to make a chest so I can start storing all my good loot instead of carrying it around everywhere like a crazy person. I'm a ratatouille. I'm gonna save that. I should have just left it in the crock, crock pot. It's not a crack pot. It is not a crack pot. There is no crack of pots. I don't need to make another spear right now. I already have one. I picked it up from a skeleton. I don't need a pitchfork. Razors are used to shave Wilson's beard. Um, he's one of the only characters that can grow a beard. But during winter time, it'll save a little bit of your resistance towards winter. It only lasts for so long, no matter how long you're wearing the beard for. However, if you shave it, you can actually use it to make a neat effigy. Spelled E-F-F-I-G-Y, I believe. And that will let you come back to life if you die. Yay! And there's only two ways of doing that. So you gotta, you gotta be careful there. In, in the regular game, not doing stuff together, you can come back to life through a meat effigy or a resurrection stone. Well, they're called touchstones from the way that they look. Um, super useful. You just have to find one and touch it. And by touching it, it builds itself back together. And if you die, you will be put back on that stone. But it cracks and you can't use it ever again. I'm stealing all this grass. Gonna use it for things. What did I need? Oh yeah, wood. Um, no, please don't drop that. I need it. Now that I kind of just pick it up again. So you might have noticed I have a couple extra things. The box thing and a ring thing. I got lucky and was able to just pick them up. Uh, the main objective is of the game is to not only not starve, but you have to collect the five things. Uh, I have two of them. So, so far so good. But once you collect all the things, you build them together, and it's going to be at a specific location that you find one of the things, and you advance to the next map. Oh! Crap. Crap, 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 crap. I am so sorry. I am the most sorry. I can't be any more sorry than I am right now. You know how I burned down that forest? I apologize to the fullest extent of the law. And, okay, so when you cut down too many trees, this guy comes out, he's a tree guard, tree guardian. And um, he's got an insane amount of health. I might light him on fire. Really, there's no tentacles around here? Oh, there we go. Hey, a tentacle, can you get this guy for me before he kills me? They will chase you till the ends of the earth, or they find another enemy. <gasps> mandrake! I got a mandrake. I'm sorry. I'll keep you. 
Like, if I keep running, he's gonna come and get me, so. Um, remember how I said people that were good for people who were attacking you? Yeah, we're gonna put that theory to the test. Thankfully, there's also a pig nearby, so Tree Guardian's gonna kill the pig. Are there spiders nearby? No, not yet. Um, that I don't know if he's gonna kill the pig. It's gonna happen. Pig's not strong enough by itself. Oh, really? Use this freaking tentacle. I thought planting a couple pine cones would appease him, but it appears I was wrong. You can always tell if there's a tree guardian nearby because he makes grumbly noises when you plant a tree. Which does make him happy. In fact, it's a good idea to plant a tree every time you cut one down, but you know, pine cones make such great fuel. They're not good for anything else in my opinion. I'm gonna need that. I need him to swipe at me. Yep. Well, near a beefalo, because then the beefalo will be like, hey, you attacking me, bro? And, oh man, maybe I need to go towards more beefalo. They're moving towards my camp, and that makes me really upset. You can't be near beefalo while they mate. That's when their butts turn pink, like I meant to say earlier. Um, I'm gonna save that, actually. Let that other chop go. Oh, this is really frustrating. I just want to live. I want to live so much. I need some more grass. Like, he follows, he follows you at a relatively slow pace. So if you can't outrun him, I feel really sorry for you, because there's really no way in this game to get fat. Or out of shape, because they have no athletic physics in this game. I don't know if it's a real term, but I just made it, so... That. Oh, someone's Facebooking me. I don't care. Yeah, I do. No, I don't. I changed my mind. Um, hey, trick card again. You want to? Ooh, crap. He will still follow even in the dark. And that's bad. See, people who are passive. They won't attack unless mating. Crap. See, that took a lot of my health. And then fun music plays. Um, yeah, people that won't attack unless attacked. Pig guards, however, or pigs, actually pigs and pig guards, they will attack on sight. Uh, pigs won't attack you unless you attack them. You, oh. <laughs> oh, you guys, I found a great, I have a great idea. I have a most excellent idea if I can execute it properly and efficiently. There we go. Okay. I'm going to need you to light. Thank you. Ah! And I'm on a path, so I run even faster. So by lighting the spider gland, not spider gland, the spider camp, whatever, nest, on fire. Yeah, I'm testing. Um, it draws out all of the spiders, but apparently I just needed, oh, there weren't many spiders in there at all. There was just one. If you destroy the nest, then you also destroy the spider area, so, whoops. And it looks like there was just the one, because I'm not seeing any more fallen spider meat. <gasps> Piggies! Piggies, save me! Oh, it looks like they were fighting, because silk you get from the spiders. Oh, there's some evil things near here. Evil flowers. There are two kinds of flowers. There's, um, regular flowers, and then there are evil flowers. Evil flowers, you kind of got to stay away from. Will you catch on fire? Yeah. Um, crap. I can't do anything until it's daytime when they come back out. 
This is really important. Can you step on that again, please, sir? Thank you. This is the passive way of destroying a tree guard. You can attack it, sure, but you know that one hit really knocked me down, so... I'm gonna eat that instead of saving it. I need it. I'm also gonna pick this up because it's super useful later. Like in making umbrellas. Apparently you can use silk for umbrellas, good figure. I'm gonna pick that up. If you let pigs eat monster meat, they can turn into were pigs, And that's bad. That's really bad. Because then you can't be friends with them. And in this game, the more friends, the better. What is that? Oh, there's eagle flowers. It's all shattered. Okay, so pigs are gonna attack him. I'm gonna check out the skeleton and take the free twigs he has offered me. I thought the tree guard would just focus on the pigs, but it looks like he's still kind of chasing me. So, yay me. I'm so super popular. Found some more graves. Plugged sinkholes. Um, fun thing about the game, they released a caves uh, update. And you, act you get to go explore caves. It's kind of cool looking. But it's super dark, and you know, I'm so bad at this game as it is, I don't need to make it any more complicated. Yay, they've attacked him enough to where he doesn't care about me anymore. I just can't cut down trees in his direct vicinity. Has he killed any of them yet? Because pig meat is delicious. All of this because I wanted to make a treasure chest. That's all I wanted. Just a treasure chest. But this is why I can't have nice things like treasure chests. Ooh. Living trees. Is this totally normal tree? It's obviously not a totally normal tree. It's got a scary face and it growls. Breathes heavily. But they give living logs. And living logs can be used to make magical items because in this game there is magic. Who knew, right? Like, I wasn't expecting magic. But it, it's here. I'm gonna check on the trees. Well, pigs and the tree guard. Oh, did he kill them all? He did. But because they've distracted him so much, he forgot why he even came out, which was to get me. So I'm gonna stay away for a very long time. Actually, oh, I don't have enough meat. Crap. Did they drop any other meat? I thought there were four of them. Or did one of them die and so the others committed cannibalism? Because that happens. Don't hurt me. I don't see any meat high then. Sometimes you have to use the rotate uh, options in the game. I lost my bearings though. Okay, no, this is right. <sighs> nope, that's monster meat. It's too. F oh, but he's right there. Beefalo, you didn't help me in my time of need. And I am disappoint face. I'm so disappoint face. I couldn't be more disappoint face with all of you. This has been an exciting 1850 minutes. 18 minutes and 50 seconds. I mean, oh no! I can't hold all of my stuff. What do I do? Build a treasure chest, son. That's what I do. I have a treasure chest, and I'm gonna give you those and this, uh, and that, as well as that. And that. No, that's an emergency thing. I want that just in case. But you can have that and that. Cool. Oh, and. I'm gonna take this. I now have enough meat to make meatballs. Yeah. Oh, glorious day. Oh, I gotta kill you first. Kill. Yeah. They will be delicious. 
And it's a good thing that I got all that because I'm going to be so hungry. I am so hungry. I'm hungry in real life. Like, I need totes go for some food right now. Awful oh, health. Glorious feeling indeed. Oh, I eat all my carrots. Whoops. Also, I should get to farming since I have all of these seeds. But I need a lot more grass and three more pieces of wood, which means more trees. You'll see. Um. Uh oh. But I gotta get all this grass. to do. I kind of wish that I had more food. But I don't. That's okay for right now. Guess what? I don't learn lessons from my mistakes. My boss. Oh no, my axe broke. I'm gonna pick up this poop. Is that? Oh, I should have saved that. Uh, a cool feature about this game that a lot of people don't really use is tracking. Uh, if you see suspicious dirt piles, you can track them. You really just find one and then you use that one to find the others. And it will lead you to some sort of animal. And Hopefully, um, it won't be something that tries to kill you, unless you try to kill it. Because there are a lot of monsters in this game we haven't yet gotten to see. I'm surprised, actually. I need a good way to start up my health. I'll plant this tree here, and another one there. Another cool thing about the shovel, you can dig up plants, you can dig up berry bushes, you can dig up grass, you can dig up saplings and tree trunks for extra wood, but these other things you can dig up and then plant and fertilize, and there you have your own little farm, essentially, other than this farm, which is a nice farm. I wish I had more stuff to make another farm. You can't farm with cooked seeds. They're only good for eating. And monster meat is not good for you. Yeah, see, listen to him. He's a scientist. Actually, legit, he is a scientist. Oh, look at that beard. It's glorious. Poop. I guess I should start picking up some more flowers. Um... You can see the little arrow going up on my sanity meter. That means that I'm gaining sanity at the moment. But you can't... You max out. You can't go any higher than what it wants you to. You can't use evil flowers. They reduce your sanity. So you don't. Oh, the tree guardian's down here. Somewhere. Maybe he's lost. He's not lost. I can hear his mumbling th footsteps. Ah! Don't kill me, anything hiding in there. I think there are some monsters around here. They're called tall birds. They look like giant walking eyeballs on stilts. Ooh, a walrus camp. Any walrus camp you find needs to look like that and not like what they're supposed to be, which is an igloo. Because 
uh, these two guys are walruses. They live in those camps, and they're prime hunters. Like, they are the best hunters of all hunters. And they will hunt you. And they don't use just hounds, they use, like, snowy white hounds. <gasps> Yay! I can die! And it will be okay. If you die, though, you lose all of your stuff in the spot that you died. It's very inconvenient, because then you have to be like, oh, where did I die? I've got to go all the way over there. I need to find more berries, too, because if you cook four berries, then you get jam. And it's pretty good for your health. Um, I think I'm going to end this episode here. And hope that it all turned out the way it needed to this time. Um, real quick, I'm just going to dig that. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, good flower. So yeah, um, thank y'all for tuning in. Hopefully this works this time. Um, I'll remember to change the audio file, so we'll see how that goes. Um, if you're having a good day, have a better day. If you're not having a good day, then I hope you have a good day and that it gets better. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Have a good one. Oh, it helps if I also hit stop record, so I'm going to hit that button.